What's up everybody, I'm Oz, this is Joe, and we're here at Avagon checking out their new light field display mixed reality glasses. What we have today is we're gonna show you the first light field display technology. This is a engineering prototype. It's actually just an optics prototype. It's simply what it takes to have these optics running, strapped to your head with position tracking to give you the right demo experience. What a light field is, is all the angles of light that are coming into your eyes from all these different directions, right? It creates effectively what you see in normal life. One of the outcomes of generating a light field is trying to create all the different focal planes uh, from up close out to infinity, where we think that this is the critical element. This is the, the piece of that puzzle that's actually missing today. Okay. Not sure if you're a fan of Futurama, but we're about to yeah. walk into Omicron Percy oh, I-8. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, the visual f fidelity, I say, is pretty high. Like, I'm, I can see very small craters on the moon. Um, even though there's a little bit of jitter, I think that's just from, like, positional tracking. Yeah. But augmented reality, the way people want it to be, sure. how far away is that, do you think? I think from the, the core experience that you're talking about, I think we're almost there today, right? Let's look at the, some of the experiences you have right now on existing computers, existing displays. Well, the, the challenge about um, the mixed reality space is that it's gonna start replacing a lot of functions that you see today in your smartphone, tablets, and computers. So when you look at what does this thing have to look like? What does experience have to be? What is the, the shape and form factor in application? It becomes a very complex matrix because just like your computer, you can, you can use this thing for all sorts of different things. There, there's a lot of qualities to light field that makes it a requirement for the space. But the biggest one is the ability to display within about one meter of space. Right, so you've tried, you talked about the HoloLens, you've tried the HoloLens, and HoloLens does some things that are really awesome, like amazing tracking, right? The tracking they do is phenomenal, and they have a pretty nice package that they put together. But one of the things that's very frustrating about that product and all the other products is that the fact that you can't get up close to objects makes it a non-starter. You can get up pretty close, let's say this, it's like, here, that's where it cuts off. That's really, really close. Even though the FOV doesn't fully fill it in, but like you can really get up close, focus on things. It looks pretty crisp and sharp. I think beyond that, I think is like your eyes can't exactly can't even focus. I mean, yeah. think about designing an operating system where you have to continually pin things to the wall, right? You, I open an application. The first thing I do is I pin it to the wall. Mm -hmm. You know, why can't you walk up to that image and touch it? You know, why do I have to point with my head this cursor? and click over here, right? I want to be able to hold something in my hand. I want to reach out and pet a turtle. Because if you look, it all boils down to kind of human physiology, right? When you look at um, our eyes and how we see, there's two major depth cues that we have, okay? The first depth cue that we're all aware of is convergence, right? If I put on a pair of 3D glasses or watch a 3D TV or even in VR, how they make things feel farther and closer to you is they make your eyes basically change angle. Right? Things that are far away, your eyes are pointing straight. Things that are very close, your eyes start to point in. Right? Focus and convergence are very tightly coupled together. This is how we develop our stereo binocular vision as a child. Okay. You do get some incredible clarity when you're up close to things. Now the room is blue and there's big turtles. Big turtles. Now the problem is, now when we start moving to these 3D displays, they're actually breaking this relationship apart. And what we find is that your eyes are very sensitive to focus from zero to one meter. So think about, we think about focus in terms of diopters, right? How many diopter changes? So from, like from here to here, you have about 20 diopters of focus. From here to infinity, you have one. Uh, the cosmetic mock-up that you saw is one potential um, form factor of what something like this could look like that would actually be pretty much exactly what you saw today in the demo. Maybe they'll have to f find a right balance of like what yeah. to focus on that's still in full view, even with the field of view, which was around, I'd say, like this. It's like a 15-inch mm -hmm. MacBook screen, a little yeah. bit bigger than a...